Tomorrow morning, the New Orleans City Council will consider whether to extend a temporary ban on certain types of development near uptown universities. Opponents say these projects pose a threat to their neighborhoods similar to short-term rentals. But a lawyer for investors says if these projects remain stalled, it could cost the city millions of dollars. Chief investigative reporter Greg LaRose has explored the issue on both sides to determine what happens next. This house near Tulane University is under renovation to add more rooms for rent. Neighbors got the city to halt the project and now officials are taking a look at this project and others like it around the neighborhood. This is one of 10 homes in the area that have been overhauled by Amicus Properties, a New York company that invests in off-campus apartments. They've spent $11 million so far in New Orleans and have plans for another $9 million. Students have lived in homes near Tulane and Loyola for generations, but the Amicus projects have neighbors especially concerned. So while we've seen student housing, we really haven't seen student housing on steroids before. Local developers have also put their money into conversions. Keith Hardy lives next to one of the 15 properties where more bedrooms have been added. It's a trend opponents are calling doubles to dorms. They're building so many more bedrooms in such a small house than we've ever seen done before. Neighborhood groups say before renovations, the 15 houses had a total of 74 bedrooms. After, the number doubled. In March, the city stopped new renovations while it studied their impact on parking in the area. If this keeps happening to properties in the neighborhood, the entire character of the neighborhood is going to be completely lost. Chris and Chun Lin Leonhard live right behind one of the amicus conversions on Broadway. As designed, an attachment to the house will come within feet of their backyard. They believe the city mistakenly issued a permit to amicus and they've gone to court to stop the project. They've also joined the bigger fight to stop the trend from expanding in their neighborhood. And I really think it's a shame to sacrifice that just so that some developers can make a few bucks. We're talking about students at Tulane and Loyola. We're not talking about putting in a drug rehab center, although that wouldn't particularly bother me. Local attorney Fred Herman represents Amicus Properties. He says each of their projects has been properly permitted by the city, and he rejects arguments that the new dwellings will add to parking problems. And you're throwing the baby out with the bathwater when you say, oh, it's a parking problem. Oh, then it's a density problem. The projects all fall in City Councilman Joe Giarusso's district. He helped put the temporary hold in place and says he'll ask council members at Thursday's meeting to keep it in place for a year. The councilman says profit margins are driving developers to add more units in the neighborhood. The density isn't in favor necessarily of residents. It's in favor of itinerant college kids or graduate students who may not plant down seeds who are going to be constantly rotating in and out. Keith Hardy says the expansion of doubles to dorms threatens the fabric of his neighborhood. But I think the real problem is what's going to happen to long-term residents, people who really want to remain in New Orleans, where, where are they going to turn to find housing? One possible outcome to this debate is that the city allows this project to go forward, but then changes its zoning laws to limit similar projects in the future. The concern then is that it would discourage development, not just in this neighborhood, but throughout the city. Reporting from Uptown, Greg LaRose, WDSU News. And you can read much more about doubles to dorms at WDSU.com and on our free mobile app right now.